Honfleur is a commune in the Calvados department in northwestern France. It is located on the southern bank of the estuary of the Seine across from Le Havre and very close to the exit of the Pont Normandy. Its inhabitants are called Honfleurais. It is especially known for its old, beautiful picturesque port, characterized by its houses with slate-covered frontages, painted many times by artists, including in particular Gustave Corbett, Eugene Bodin, Claude Monet and Johann Jonkind, forming the Echo Older Honfleur which contributed to the appearance of the Impressionist movement. The St. Catherine Church, which has a bell tower separate from the principal building, is the largest church made out of wood in France. History The first written record of Honfleur is a reference by Richard III, Duke of Normandy, in 1027. By the middle of the 12th century, the city represented a significant transit point for goods from Rouen to England, located on the estuary of one of the principal rivers of France with a safe harbour and relatively rich hinterland. Honfleur profited from its strategic position from the start of the Hundred Years' War. The town's defences were strengthened by Charles V in order to protect the estuary of the Seine from attacks from the English. This was supported by the nearby port of Harfleur. However, Honfleur was taken and occupied by the English in 1357 and from 1419 to 1450, when under French control, raiding parties often set out from the port to ransack the English coasts, including partially destroying the town of Sandwich, in Kent, England, in the 1450s. At the end of the Hundred Years' War, Honfleur benefited from the boom in maritime trade until the end of the 18th century. Trade was disturbed during the wars of religion in the 16th century. The port saw the departure of a number of explorers, in particular in 1503 of Binot Palmier de Gonville to the coasts of Brazil. In 1506, local man Jean Denis departed for Newfoundland Island and the mouth of the St. Lawrence. An expedition in 1608, organized by Samuel de Champlain, founded the city of Quebec in modern-day Canada. After 1608, Honfleur thrived on trade with Canada, the West Indies, the African coasts and the Azores. As a result, the town became one of the five principal ports for the slave trade in France. During this time the rapid growth of the town saw the demolition of its fortifications on the orders of Colbert the wars of the French Revolution and the First Empire, and in particular the Continental Blockade, caused the ruin of Honfleur. It only partially recovered during the 19th century with the trading of wood from northern Europe. Trade was however limited by the silting up of the entrance to the port and development of the modern port at Le Havre. The port however still functions today. On August 25, 1944, Honfleur was liberated together by the British Army 19th Platoon of the 12th Devons, 6th Air Landing Brigade, the Belgian Army on 25 August 1944, and the Canadian Army without any combat. Toponymy. Mentioned as Honfleur in 1025, Honfleur around 1062, Honfleur in 1198, Honfleur in 1246, Honfleur, up to the 18th century. Traditional pronunciation. Cayo Fior, with the H strongly expirated, like in, lock. It is lost nowadays. The marker Fleur, formerly Fleur which is widespread in Normandy, which means stream, river running into the sea, was still in use in the 13th century as written in a document Le Fleur de l'Estre, meaning the Lestre River. It could come from a word of Old Norse origin Floth, compare a Old English Flode, which means estuary, branch of the sea, combined with Floy, river running into the sea, for the meaning. But according to the numerous old mentions of Barfleur, it is more probably the Oefliot, run of water, that can be found in the English place names in fleet, such as adding fleet, marfleet, ooze fleet, combined very often with a male's name. The element hon seems to come from an Anglo-Saxon given name Hunor or the Norse honey, variant form Hun which is also found close to Honfleur in Honneville, homonym of the Honville at St. George du Mesnil. Such a connection between two close place names can be noted regularly in the Norman toponymy. 
there, in any case, close places. Cremanfleur, Cremanville, Barfla, Barbville, etc. The ville element is almost always combined with a personal name. The similarity with the name of Bay of Honefloy in Iceland may be coincidence. Geography Honfleur is in the Norman département of Calvados, located on the southern bank of the estuary of the Seine, across from Le Havre and very close to the exit of the Pont Normandy. The town is at the eastern extremity of the 40 km coastline called the Côte Fleury. The population has hovered between 8,000 and 9,000 since 1793 and, as of 2006, had 8,177 inhabitants who are called Honfleurés according to INSEE Population Administration. Honfleur is the seat of a canton including the communes of Ablon, Barnville, La Bertrand, Crike, Buff, Aquimoval, Pornville, Genville, Gonville sur Honfleur, Honfleur, Penard Peeb, Ketville, La Riviere Saint Sauveur, Saint Gatien des Bois, and Lithile NOJ. These 13 communes also form the intercommunality of Pays de Honfleur. In 1973 Honfleur merged with the commune of Vassoi. The INSE code used to be 14,725. Sites St. Catherine's Church The church is dedicated to St. Catherine of Alexandria is evidenced by a wooden sculpture above the porch of the bell, tower which separates the two naves. She is shown holding a wheel and a sword. The first nave is the oldest part of the building, dating to the second half of the 15th century, constructed right after the Hundred Years' War. It was built on the model of a market hall, using naval construction techniques, which gives the impression of an upside-down ship's hull. Then the bell tower was built a good distance away, so that parishioners would not be burnt in case of a fire. Indeed, the bell tower did draw lightning strikes due to its height and its position position on the side of a hill. In the 16th century, a second nave was added, whose vault was like the wooden vaults of modest Gothic churches. This second part was rather rounder, and did not look like a ship's hull. Later, supplementary bays were added to both naves. The famous axe masters of the naval yards of the city created this lovely building without using any saws, just like their Norman ancestors. Unlike the Vikings before them, the beams used to create the pillars of the nave and the side walls are of unequal length, because there were not any more any oak trees long enough to construct them. Also, some have a footing of stone, some of greater or lesser height, and some have no footing. The bays for the choir, redone in the 19th century, are of rather mediocre quality, and the roof above is higher than those of the older parts. The church is partially covered in chestnut shingles, which are called essentiaires in the local dialect. The Neo-Norman porch was built following the model of rural Normandy churches at the beginning of the 20th century, and replaced a monumental doorway in neoclassical style from the previous century. An old parish church in Gothic style, dating in part to the 14th and 15th centuries, it is the oldest in the city. It is constructed of chalk with flint and of con stone, the city of Honfleur being located at the border of those two calcareous rock formations. The bell tower is covered with a facade of St. Shija chestnut wood. Today, it is next door to the Naval Museum. Egli St. Leonard, with a flamboyant Gothic-style facade, the rest of the building was rebuilt in the 17th and 18th centuries which explains the unusual form of the bell tower which forms a sort of a dome. The interior is entirely painted in murals, including the visible wooden vaulting. Salt barns. Two barns remain out of three originals, one having been destroyed by fire. These two buildings contain 10,000 tons of salt for preserving the catch of this important fishing port. They were constructed in the 17th century, after the citizens received permission from Colbert. The bulk of the salt came from Brewage. The walls were constructed with great blocks of chalky limestone and wooden vaulting, which being constructed by naval carpenters, evoke the hulls of vessels of the 17th century. Chapelle de Grace. This building was reconstructed after the cliff collapsed. 
On the exterior, one can see pilgrimage bells, the Cotre Saint Bernadette, the last crayfishing sloop which is still in shape to sail. It belongs to the La Chaloupe d'Enfleur Association. It was enrolled as a historic monument of France as of 18 October 1983. The commune was rated four flowers in the Concours des Villes et Villages Fleurus. Museums Museum Eugene Badin, Museum Eric Satie, Vieux Honfleur Museum, Naval Museum, Personalities, Dennis of the Nativity, Catholic Martyr, Jean Doublet, Corsair, Jacques Felix Emmanuel Hamlin, Rear Admiral, Alphonse Alès, Writer and Humorist, Eugene Badin, Painter, Christopher Rockencourt, Imposter and Con Artist, Eric Satie, musician, Michel Danino, author, Stéphane Ferron, wildlife photographer, Jehan Dennis, navigator, international relations, twin towns, sister cities Honfleur is twinned with, Sandwich, England, Worth, Maine, Germany, São Francisco do Sul, Brazil, partnerships Honfleur, Quebec, Canada, Onomichi, Japan.